Hey everyone, it's Steven. Today I'm at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Let's jump into some highlights from this year's show. All right, first stop of the day is going to be the Chevy exhibit with a lot of cool stuff here. You've got the all new electric Blazer. Pretty neat looking car. I expect this to do quite well considering the Blazer is honestly a pretty underwhelming car and it sells really well. So <laughs> I kind of think this one will do even better. You've also got the Chevy Silverado EV. Very cool looking car. I expect that to do really well as well. 400 miles on that. And in the very distant, you've got the electric Equinox. Also going to be a very popular car, I expect. Chevy's really going all out on their EV platform this year. As you can see, they've got the EV highlighted in their name. I think whoever thought of that is probably really proud of themselves. <laughs> Coming up here, you've got the new Corvette Z06. Very gorgeous car. As you can see, it's very crowded. <laughs> and over here, it looks almost the same, but this is actually the E-Ray. Only thing you can tell, that, the only way you can tell this is an E-Ray is by looking at this little logo on the bottom right here. This is the hybrid version of the Corvette. Very first hybrid ever. And here is the 2024 Trax, one of their brand new vehicles. Looks pretty nice. I am a big fan of Chevy's new design language with their really sharp lights. Looks fantastic. Next up, we've got the Volkswagen exhibit. They are really trying to market their ID4. Again, EVs are a very big theme of this year's auto show. I think starting in like, what, 2021, it's kind of been EVs everywhere. But for Volkswagen, they are really excited about the new Atlas. This is the Atlas Cross Sport, so the Sportback version where it has a slope roofline in the back. You can actually check out my review of the 2021 Atlas Cross Sport. I'll link right here. Looks pretty nice. I do like the new design language. Definitely modernizes it a bit more. You got some new cool tech inside as well. Larger infotainment screen and just an overall refreshed cabin. On the other side right here, you've got the Atlas itself. So this one has the boxier look. I do like the front. I love what Volkswagen is doing with their lit up uh, logos on the uh, front grille and the rear. Looks quite nice. You probably can't tell too much in the lighting, but that Volkswagen logo is lit up red. Next up, you've got Kia. The EV6 doing very well. Got some beautiful ones here. I love the gray color, the silver color. I think the rear of the EV6 is probably one of the best looking rears in the entire car industry on it right now. This is the extremely popular Telluride. It's a really cool exhibit. I love this uh, moving ground display. And this is the Refresh 2023. Looks a little more boxy. I don't know if I love the new headlights or not. Moving over, we've got the new Nero as well. Very popular car. Looks quite fresh. Here is the Lexus exhibit right here. The biggest thing coming out of Lexus for this year is going to be the new RX. The best-selling luxury SUV of all time gets a redesign. You can see this, this exhibit is quite busy. Not a huge fan of this color. I expect it to do well with older buyers. This new grill is called the Spindle Body Grill. It's kind of, I don't know, it's still growing on me, I guess. But I do love the rest of the look. It's a lot more angular, sharper. And right here, you've got the RZ, Lexus's first electric vehicle. Obviously, just going to be an electric version of the RX, given that that's their most popular vehicle. I don't know if I love the front. It looks a little empty, but I expect the license plate to go over there. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks pretty nice. I expect this to be very, very competitive with the sea of mid-size SUVs out there, electric SUVs specifically. But you do have the yoke steering wheel. Definitely going to be a bit polarizing. All right, coming to the Honda visit, <laughs> you guys might notice a really weird thing in the background. They are making jets, which I did not realize, but that jet over there is Honda's. It's called the Honda Jet Elite. Otherwise for Honda, you've got some exciting things for this year. You've got the new Pilot. It's right over here. 
looks nice. I love their design language, starting with the new Civic. Really important vehicle in Honda's lineup. I think Honda wasn't even here last year, so clearly they're feeling more confident in their vehicles and their jets. Yeah. You've got the new CRV and the new HRV as well. Some good looking vehicles. I actually really like this one in black. I think it looks quite good if you can keep it clean. And of course, you've got the new Civic hatchback version. And then the Type R. I will say the rear diffuser looks a little less, a little less uh, aggressive as the last generation. Kind of like the last generation is a bit more. I do like this color scheme though. The red reminds me of the Elantra N. The colors for that. Civic Type R is a very popular car. Lots of people taking pictures with it. I think the front definitely looks better than the old generation. Making our way to the Hyundai exhibit here, you've got a lot of Ionic 5s here. They are really marketing this car, and I mean, for good reason. It is a fantastic car, has been won so many awards, and just a really good car. The line's actually not that long right now. Usually the line for this thing is kind of ridiculous. Here you've got the Hyundai Nexo their hydrogen fuel cell car, which you cannot even buy here in Chicago. So don't really know why they're marketing it. Maybe they're trying to expand it at some point. Right now, this fuel cell car only can be used in California. Coming up here, you've got the new Ionic 6. This is a pre-production model though, so it's not going to be the exact one you see, but <laughs> I really love this design. I, I think their design language is so cool with all these cube block things. Looks sleek large mid-size sedan here. The front end really reminds me of the Nissan Z that we'll see later in this video as well. Looks awesome though. And here's the Ionic 6 in a different color. Pretty cool. I like that color a lot. We've got the other typical Hyundais. The Tucson doesn't even look as cool anymore, but still a very nicely designed compact SUV. Got some Santa Fe's in the back there. You see the Kona as well, and then the new Palisade. Similar to the Kia Telluride, the Palisade also got a mild refresh for 2023. You can kind of see that blocky design translate over to this new Palisade. I think I actually like the new Palisade design better than the new Telluride. All right, now going to the Toyota exhibit, you've got the all new 2024 Grand Highlander. This made a lot of news when it dropped on the first day of the Chicago Auto Show this year. Looks pretty nice. I like the rear. Definitely keeps up with some of the boxier Expedition, Tahoe Suburban, <laughs> Yukon, all of those twins. I like the color though. It's a pretty cool color. Toyota has a lot of cool stuff going on this year. This is the GR Corolla. Looks quite nice. Unfortunately, I think this is the base trim here so it doesn't have the hood scoop. Hood scoop makes it look a lot more menacing and uh, sporty. I love the hatchback look. I mean, you can see the Toyota exhibit is very popular. This one right here is the Camry TRD. Best-selling car. And then you've got the Crown. This is an interesting vehicle. I think it looks worse in person <laughs> than it does on photos. I just don't love the two-tone look going to be their executive sedan. I do love the rear. It looks very nice. Very similar to their new Prius. They're also sort of showcasing some of their new concept vehicles. The iRoad, this tiny little cute thing, and the LQ in the back. They are meant to be fully autonomous. And here is the new Prius. Incredible looking car here. I expect to see a lot of these on the road. They're affordable, good on mileage, will last you a long time. They look nice now. We've got a really cool Toyota course here. We've got the new Sequoia, looks fantastic. The new Prius, you can kind of see them in action. They go through this kind of interesting course right here. This is the new Nissan Z. See, it does look kind of similar to the Toyota Crown from the front. 
very hotly anticipated car. Can't wait to see these on the streets. Not the biggest fan of the front fascia, but the rear looks fine. We've got a cool exhibit here too. And that there is the new Pathfinder. I love the uh, lights. Looks really cool. The Nissan exhibit is pretty large this year. I think they're really trying to market some of their newly redesigned vehicles. They need to redesign their sedan lineup. Now this is cool. This is the Airflow from Chrysler. I did not even know they were thinking of building an electric vehicle. It looks very cool. All right, coming into Stellantis country, you've got a cool Ram exhibit over there. You've got the Ram TRX, crazy vehicle. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Rams. They are very popular here, especially just in the US in general. I'm going to Jeep Mountain. Looks pretty cool, right? It's a very steep ascent. Definitely looks steeper in person than on this video. In the Dodge exhibit, you've got the Hornet. Looks pretty cool. The racing stripe is a nice touch. Dodge does a good job with their rears. I've always thought they were pretty nice. This is going to be the higher, sportier trim. We've got a nice little Hornet logo as well. Looks quite neat. Wrapping up the FCA area, you've got Alfa Romeo and Fiat. Nothing too interesting from the Fiat area. You've got a Giulia Quadrifoglio. And then you've got the new Tonale, which is pretty cool. Looks fantastic, has more updated tech. Much better than the aging tech in the Stelvio, which looks kind of atrocious in this day and age. And I absolutely love this color. I actually really like Alfa Romeo cars. I feel like their design language is awesome. If only their reliability was a bit better. The humongous Grand Wagoneer. They need to clean this one. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here is the Grand Cherokee 4xe. I like the look of that one as well. All right, going into the Ford area. A lot of pickup trucks. Super Duty one right here. We've also got the F-150 Lightning. Big screen. We've got the Mach-E. Probably my favorite. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like this one, the Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6 are all really, really cool. Moving over to this side, you've got the 2024 Mustang. Looks incredible. I love what they did with this car. Keeping the design language very similar, but tweaking the exterior slightly to make it look a little bit more modern. And the interior looks way better. This is the GT trim. And it's hard to tell in the camera, but the lights are actually angled. It's actually very cool. Here's the beautiful Bronco, effortlessly popular. The Bronco Sport, probably something most Americans see daily. Probably one of the coolest comebacks of a vehicle ever. Here's the Subaru exhibit, puppies, and the 2024 Crosstrek. Very cute. Capable. Dependable, very cool exhibit safe, for the new cross track. Long lasting. The all new they are really marketing this car. Cross track is made for those with a love for adventure and the passion and desire to spend their cross track. I'm still not a fan of all the plastic cladding that they add around the wheels. Wow. The fenders are weird. Super. I think the colors work well in this color scheme. You've got the yellow and the green. But overall, just still not that impressed with the look of these vehicles. But I don't think they're going for flashiness, you know? One of my favorite parts of this year's auto show is they have an EV track, specifically dedicated for EVs, like this gorgeous BMW i7 right here. Love the look of that vehicle. And that's the i4 following it in a beautiful, like, almost British racing green. We've got a lot of ID4s on this track. And I believe there's some Cadillac lyrics here somewhere as well. Last up, we've got BMW. It is quite a shame that Porsche, Audi, Mercedes don't even come to this auto show anymore. They haven't been in the last few years, but BMW still does, even if they have a quite small exhibit. 
This is the XM, beautiful plug-in hybrid vehicle. Really cool. I, I love this car. I know the design is polarizing, but I love it. Their split headlight design is awesome. We've got the i4 M50. Look out for a review of this car coming out soon for me. This is the new X7. Looks so cool. That is the fully redesigned X1. Makes this one of the most compelling subcompact SUVs in this segment. Looks really nice and modern on the inside. Here you've got the i7, their executive sedan, electrified. I've heard this has one of the coolest interiors. Here's the front of the i7. Looks awesome. Definitely competitive with the EQS. So that's a wrap on this year's auto show. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my other videos, you can click up here, subscribe down here, and let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite car in this year's auto show? I'm really hoping they bring some more vehicles next year because I really think not seeing Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, a lot of the other brands out there right now um, makes me a little sad. I feel like this auto show has gotten smaller and smaller every year, but hopefully if someone sees this, they can make some changes to that. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks everyone, bye.